what looks like fun is fun. You get to see some amazing things, and it's, it, it rules. My name's Matt, you're watching ANF TV. We're here at JT Holmes Professional Skier. This is home. Let's go get some goods. I think it's prime right now. This is the playground. Squaw Valley, USA. Not too bad. No, I love it. That's Squaw Valley over there. That's the Palisades. Pretty big rock. What else have you uh, skied? Well, you got Talax over there. That's the biggest peak in the Tahoe Basin. That's pretty fun. But uh, today, I think, we, uh, I think Rose taking is Taking us too. Not Rose, yeah. Back this way. It's back up over behind that peak. And I think it should be pretty good. The wind might be going off. So, uh, say skiing has changed quite a bit in the, the last few years with the whole new school ski movement. There's been a couple of revolutions. We've got twin tip skis now, so we're skiing backwards in the park and the pipe. And we got fat skis. We just copy snowboarding, basically. Snowboarding uh, kicks skiing in the butt. Skiing's going off right now. The energy in it's insane. I think I think that skiing is, is the coolest sport in the world. So I've seen a lot of the uh, movies you've been in. Everybody watches those movies and you know, people are like, oh my god, he got to ski, nothing but the goods. And sure, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, BS interviews like this that we got to do, but <laughs> really, pretty much those, those movies don't tell lies. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's what I love to do and it's fun. The beauty of skiing is that anybody can go 70 miles an hour. Anybody can get 50 feet of air. Yeah, you know, it's great. Is that what uh, we're looking at later today? Just yeah. To there. We're gonna Possibly get, more. Exactly. We're going to get you off the ground. I think the conditions are prime. I'm and ready for it. I'm ready for I, it. I hear you are. The corporate rock star ready to hop. So uh, where are we heading today? Uh, I think we're going to go up to Rippy Rock and throw you off of it. Nice. It's kind of a it's kind of a gap jump, actually. you got to get way out there. I think we should hit it. Let's do it. After the interviews. <laughs> Let's see what we got for you. What do you want? Twin tips? Fats? You tell me, what do I need? Skis, boots. What's with the crutch back there? Crutch as well. I can't say I've been without injury, but <laughs> it's good to be prepared to have it in the closet. <laughs> the thing about it is, is there's this rock. And it's, it looks, it's, it's super pointy. So if you land it on it, it would pretty much just skewer you like a kebab. And after that, throwing down a monster hook to slam. That was pretty cool. I had no legs. It sat right on my ass. <laughs> I'll hit it. You know, no, dude. That's straight out of sled next, dude. You know where he's going down a hill like that? I'm going to hit it so it. slow the first time and then come back around. <laughs> I don't want to hit it on the sled. Uh, I haven't really jumped my snowmobile yet, but. Should be, uh, I think it's soft. 
new experience. Yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> next for you um actually man after today i want to stick around here for a while <laughs> it's so okay. good i've got a monster checklist of stuff i want to do just right around here in my backyard you know backyard just got bigger with the snowmobiles too the competition's yeah. coming up or? yeah i'm gonna go to japan i think and uh do a contest there and as well as hopefully um the minnesota there's a contest in uh in minnesota and uh, it should be pretty cool because all those kids out there, they just have train parks. They don't have big mountains like us. So all they do is hang out in the train parks. And they're really good and they're just super stoked on skiing. Thanks for the turns, man. No worries. It was fun. Good times. Anytime. <laughs>